playlist this time. Let's see how badly this goes. We got on random as a good start. Right, let's get on with this whole Feebas hunting malarkey. Right. I believe it will probably help if I have a controller in hand. So I've heard it's a rumour going round. Not quite sure how true it is, but we're going to find out. Oh, so far, so good. If you press those buttons, it translates to actions on screen. Who the funk it? It's a novel concept. Somebody should tell somebody, like, I don't know. Maybe Sony. Yeah, they don't they don't make those video games. They can do that, right? Okay, let's get our little bloody death counters and soundboard up so we can keep track of our goddamn counters. Boom, there we go. First one on the board. So as usual, we are going for 100 Magikarp. We'll see how the stream goes. We may possibly go for more. I haven't decided yet. See how we're feeling at 100. Well, we bollocks that one up. That's a great start. As you may see scrolling on the screen, I've decided, you know, if I remember, and it's a big if, to maybe add a question of the day, so to speak. Not that much has been revealed on it, and on the Hyusian Azura and Zorark, but if anybody got any thoughts, feel free to share them. I mean, they look interesting enough. you got to assume they're going to be ice type just because of the region they are. So you find them in the ice, so ergo they most likely going to be ice type. Maybe they're going to be fire and ice because they did mention the glowiness of it. So that's possible. But maybe they retain their dark typing too, I don't know. It's all open to speculation. Doesn't look like they deviate too much from it, but... You know, we got a nice different colour scheme, I like that. Obviously quite a contrast between the dark and the incredibly light colours. So, that is what it is. I'm also incredibly aware that I have no clue what's on this playlist and we're just going to see what gets struck and what doesn't. I've just searched anime, copyright free, on um, Spotify. So maybe we've got some bangers, maybe we don't. Anime, copyright free, yeah, that's what it is on Spotify. <laughs> oh, it's only a 2 hour 13 list, so I'll tell you what. <coughs> oh, excuse me, we've got a bit of hiccups. I'm going to take it off random, so it's just going to throw it in order. Ooh, really should have thought about the text on that, but... Oh, well, you can see the text once we're on this screen and that screen. Ah, oh, we'll just deal with it. You know, it's a live, you learn, blah, 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 blah. That was a Magikarp. Let's add the Magikarp on. And another. Oh. Knocking back a few IPAs tonight. It's just the Morrison's the best. Whatever it's called. Because they are currently a pound a bottle. I assume they're probably on clearance so they won't have them again. Yeah, for a quid a bottle, I'm not going to complain.
See, another thing is I'm no good at recognising anime openings because, you know, as much as I like anime, I don't watch, like, every single one. Now, I'm probably going to make myself look like a fool and say, is this Attack on Titan opening? I don't know. I mean, there may be one, uh, one or two in this list that I recognise. But it just seemed kind of apt to hit up a play like this for the stream title. I assume there's going to be nothing like Maximum the Hormone and, uh, well, we're not going to get a lot of JoJo's uh, openings now, are we? think maybe a new season of JoJo's dropping later this year? I mean, I'm quite hyped for that because I do like me some goddamn JoJo. I do kind of wish with the Hayusian Zoro and Zoro Arc, the first trailer they released with the broken footage, that they waited just that bit longer to restore it. Like, maybe give it at least a week and be like, ooh, okay, what is it? Get the speculation up, get it up, get the speculation up. I know a few people all sort of said that, oh, yes, yeah, blatantly Zoro and Zoro Arc. So maybe they were like, well, if they've already guessed. But I would have liked, the, you know, about a week between it. Just to be like, oh. We're getting some new stuff. Oh, they've cleared up the footage. Oh, we we're right. Then, oh, oh, we we're wrong. Time with these streams is always to keep it just, you know, generally chill. Put music in the background, just hunt some pokes. Thought we were going to miss that one. I think honestly at this point I'm just going to be quite happy to have a shiny pop up. Feels like it's been a long slog. I know there's a lot of hunters who go through a longer slog than this but... You know, when you're in the middle of it, you're like, come on. It's been over, what, two and a half thousand. Where's my shiny? It's like, yeah, some go, you know, three, four at least without getting a single shiny, let alone what they're hunting, so.
Well, at least this tells me what it's from. No game, no life. Although I believe uh, perhaps it was the creator. Um, less than savoury behaviour, I believe. I could be wrong, but I think I remember reading something about it. So if I'm wrong, I apologise. But if I'm not, then go fuck them. They can go fuck themselves. Yes, oh, so of course, the creator of the anime, not this opening track. As far as I'm aware. <laughs> but yes, it is the Morrison's the best IPA. They say it's the best. I don't think it's necessarily the best. It's enjoyable enough, but it ain't the best. But it's pretty good. Uh, when I pour, there's always a lot ahead. Make it up what you will. Now we just have to pick up the controller that fell down. Oh, another Tudor. It's all good. I see somebody joined us. Hello to you. I see you here. Yeah, for uh, somebody who's just joined us, just in case you, you're not a returning viewer. We go for the 100 Magic Arps of stream, usually. You know, sometimes we go a little over, but very rare. But we'll see how we go this stream. I don't know what I'm feeling. We might be doing just the 100, or maybe possibly two. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. No guarantees. But we like to keep it pretty chill. Now, just listen to some music. Talk some shit and go from there. I'm having a little drink tonight since, you know, it's the weekend and I don't have work till Monday. I'm also very aware that my, perhaps my posture and framing is very much unlike other streamers. A lot of them are like, yeah, I sit like a normal human being, relatively straight up facing the camera. I'm like, uh, I'm just, whatever, lying back a bit. It's just how I roll.
Oh, no. Thought for a moment the Spotify widget is shit a brick, but no, it caught up. I was like, 347 out of 346, that ain't right. Cartoon snot bubble of a head will soon be shiny. Gotta believe. Channel my inner crap at a rapper. Gotta believe. Bear with me while I check to see if A, I've already written this idea for a stream name down. Yes, I have. But there's also another. Oh dear, first you order the stream, that's not bad. It's not bad. Well that was just too fast for my liking. bear with me on a, <laughs> but an idea for a stream name and it, it just amuses me it's stupid it's dumb it might be way too long for it
Oh, so it's the little things that get you through life. It really is. Well, so far there's not been a track I dislike. I don't think that's bad so far. All I do is twat this goddamn microphone. I mean, every other stream it seems that I talk about the wrestling, and there was some yesterday, it was Crown Jewel, but I have not watched that. I think if I were, I'm going to find ways and means that uh, don't necessarily support WWE's endeavour to have this pay-per-view in Saudi Arabia. And also, if I find these other ways and means, it means I can speed up all the filler bits in between. Well, there's also a part of me that's seen a YouTube fun thumbnail, so it's got an idea of the results of two other matches. Possibly three, although no guarantee of the third. I'll probably watch it at some point in the morning. Hopefully get that uh, three hours or so knocked out in about two with cutting out the crap. Oh, and I also think, I also saw another thumbnail and title of the video, and I assume it wasn't satirical in nature, but it said Undertaker introduces Pitbull in Saudi Arabia. I mean, okay. You do, you take her, you get that mad money for just going, here is Pitbull. Okay. Probably got paid dumb money for that.
So what are we working? Are we going to get a Feebas in the 100 Magikarps we're going for? I'm not feeling it today. I don't think we're going to get a Feebas in the 100. I think it's going to be wonderfully elusive today. <sighs> and there's two. Too far on our counter there. Almost gave us one more Feebas than we actually had. Which we're thinking, right? I'm just checking a text that appears on screen. It's pretty good for the most part, you know, isn't it? Just when we get into battle and we got the white boxes there that, you know, mess up the text. So maybe there's something we'll fix at some point, but I don't think it's that much of a big deal. Uh, I'm sure you can make it if you need to. This is the last anime playlist, this just reminds me that I've got to keep catching up on my hero Aka. I believe I've reached the end of Class A versus Class B and that 4v4 little training exercise they had. So we've got another good lot to go through, so that's no problem. I find I go through sort of like phases where I Suddenly I'll be, you know, for a few months I'll be watching a lot of anime and other times I'll just be watching a lot of, like, American drama shows, you know, all that CW bullshit. And then other times just watching something different and then at other, ti other times just playing a lot of video games. You know, it's usually get mixed up a little bit here and there, but it does sometimes feel like phases. Where I'll be like, oh, we're playing a lot of video games and then watching a lot of anime, etc, etc. I know when I first discovered Bleach, ooh, many years ago now, we, well, we basically grinded that out hard, and I, it wasn't a grind, but, you know, it's about the only way I can really describe it as, we grinded that shit hard. Also, Naruto, because I think I discovered them both at the round about the same time. So it's like, oh, look, there's hundreds of episodes for me to go for. I think Bleach was... Airing around the Arankar arc, I think, when I first discovered it. So we obviously, we went from the start and just so happened that the current episode when I caught up was like the Arankar arc and some sort of flashback and oh god, that's why I dipped off in the end as well, to be fair. I went from hype, 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 hype to oh my god, just hurry to, just hurry up. You stop, start, you stop, start. You've lost my interest now. 
So much so that I ended up just watching a YouTube video on like the fall of Bleach. And then the follow up which had uh, some corrections and what have you. It was very much a big way to get me to fall out of watching Bleach. I was like, oh my god, this is awesome. I'm enjoying this. It's great. And it's like, here's about 12 episodes of what you want to watch. And now we're going to do some dumb bullshit for another 12 episodes. I know why they did it, but I'd rather them just either give me a big filler, filler arc I can miss or just help. Crazy idea. Not even show anything at all and just concentrate on the main stuff. And as for Naruto, well, it just burnt me out as well. I got onto Shippuden. Uh, things happened. It was... Yeah. But I will say, Rock Lee will always be a boy. Like, goddamn, Rock Lee. Easily favourite character from Naruto. Rock Lee Gara. Mm, that is so good. I honestly just might watch that whole thing again. Just Rock Lee and Gara. Because Rock Lee and Gara. Oh, we're going to have to go get another drink soonish. And our 40th Magic Art will go top of our drink. But as much as I've updated this layout, I've still not made a different break screen yet. Maybe one day. Maybe one day in the far flung future. It's not that hard to make a break screen, it's just like here's some stock footage, here's some music that I make sure I attribute, done, put a bit of text on it, tell you what I'm doing. I just think it's a lot more, well, I say a lot, and I think it's mildly more interesting than, oh look, why is there nobody on screen? A lot of the times I do edit that out of these broadcasts when I upload them to YouTube. Just because, you know, it's YouTube, it's not, it ain't live, pal. I think the odd little bit slips through here and there, but for the most part, we we'll grab them and edit them out if I remember they're in there. Sometimes it's just, here's the stream, it's now on YouTube, enjoy. That we get we'll get to get a drink after this. Oh, 
Oh, well, as you might have guessed, we're back. Well, we've only got our last two IPAs, but we also have a English Blush, blush Cider. So, my sister decided she'd crack open the bottle, see if she likes it. She don't. So, a winner is me. Mm. Picking up some slight, slight toffee undertones on it. Didn't say there's any in it, but I like it. Yes. Obviously, by the blush, I assumed it was made with some sort of red apples, and there's a red colour into it. Whether that translates to being red apples, I don't bloody know. Maybe they just add colouring. But it's good. Oh, that is lovely. Oh, that goes down a treat. Well, on with the programme. I suppose I should probably get the microphone a bit more near me, so it's a bit easier to hear me. And that's of course you enjoy not enjoy not being able to hear me, so you know, go figure. See now, I recognise this track from something, but uh, the title oh, the. TK from Long Tootsie Secure. Maybe I don't then. Or maybe it's just uh not 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 in the name that I'd recognise it as. Is it I believe the I must say the katana kanji? I d I don't know. I just watch a damn anime, I don't know what what is in what. No. Maybe it's a Japanese name in Roman characters, I guess you'd call it. If I'm wrong, my bad. But I hope you know the gist of what I'm attempting to say. The other thing is, maybe this just tracks just come up on a Spotify recommendation somewhere. Or on one of those auto playlists where it's like, go to song radio, just throw whatever shit that's vaguely related to at me. It's very sweet this one, but in a good way. Very sweet with a little bit of a slightly sour finish at the end. But it's not too sweet, because I'm not a big fan of a uh, Perry, which is pretty much, you know, your pear ciders. I uh, no, they're not for me. There is actually a distinct chance, at least on Magikarp, that I'm just going to accidentally run. I'll be like, yeah, it's another Magikarp. Okay, cool. I suppose the thing is, if I go update the counter, at least that gives me a little... Oh, turn your head from the screen. Do stuff. It just depends when I update the counter.
Oh, I've reached 1100 tutor. Very early on in the streams, we were just doing 50 magic art because we did have to defeat them to get their number up. And it was the same with the tutor as well. Obviously, the tutor came a bit later getting the numbers up. So we were just doing 50 at a time of the magic art when we had to defeat them just because it took so long. But now that we don't, we're just like, find magic art, run for magic art, repeat. Well, I'll tell you what, at 50 Magic Up, should we see what's outside on Pokemon Go? I think that's a plan. I'd love to tell you that this position I'm sitting in is comfortable, but it's really not. I mean, everything's comfortable except for the part where my hand slash arm is digging into my head. I suppose on the headset it's not awful. Right, let's see what's outside on go. Right, mercifully it's already loaded up, so let's see what Mistrevious has for us. That looks like a regular Mistrevious. What about Mirko? That's a uh, regular old Mirko. And second Mistrevious. Ah, you're boring. You're boring, you're boring, you're boring. But I cannot remember if Murkrow can be a ditto. I know Ghastly and Drowsy can be and Fungus and a Gulpin. But I think there's about nine that can be. Oh, and also a Perleon. Well, if Murkrow can, that one can't, wasn't. Oh, we do have a bit of Death Note in it. Yeah. I mean, we're not going to get any maximum hormone because copyright, but you know, that's good. It's nice to be like, ooh, a bit of Death Note. I really do feel like Death Note is sort of an anime series you can use to get people into anime that was like, oh, I don't want to watch anime. I mean, I guess in a way it's a bit long, about 30 odd episodes, 38, 39, I want to say 38. And obviously it dips a little bit in the middle with the, you know, with the corporation getting involved. And then maybe, I don't know, it should have ended before the introduction of the second L. 
but I feel it's strong enough in overall to get somebody to at least be like, oh shit, this is what anime can do. Because I, you know, if somebody's not interested in anime, I don't think a lot of the big hitters are really gonna get them interested. I mean, you can argue Death Note's a big hitter, but I wouldn't say it's as big as, you know, a lot of your sh usual show and stuff like Z, Naruto, Bleach, My Hero Aka, One Piece. So I think that is a way to get people into it. I mean, obviously, they've got to at least be willing at first to give it a try. But I think it's got such... Because it's such, you know, such a strong sort of thriller that people, you know, once you get them hooked on the premise, it's like, oh, okay, let's see how this goes. What's he going to do? So, yeah, anybody that happens to be on the fence about thinking, oh, maybe I should try anime, Death Note. Go watch some Death Note. Death Note is a good shit. Just don't watch Death Note anime movie on Netflix. So I, I say anime. D don't watch the Death Note live action movie on Netflix. It's... I'm not saying it should be, you know, on trial in The Hague, but it's not that far off. Jesus Christ, not even Willem Dafoe can save it. I mean, Willem Dafoe as Ryuk. That should be amazing. It's, it's, it look, a role he should be made for, but it's like, oh, okay. Uh, fucking live action Death Note on Netflix. Uh. Uh, I've watched a few live ad live action adaptations of anime here and there. Not an extensive list, but one or two here and there. Although I will say I'd rather watch the live action Death Note over a certain um dare I utter these initials. Well, I'm happy to utter the first two, it's just the last one is an absolute abomination that goes against Everything. You know. You know the one I'm thinking of. Starts with a D. There's a B. You really don't want me to say the next letter of this live ad action adaptation. Well, I say adaptation. Barely adapted shit. I didn't even have the audacity to be like so bad it's good. It's like, no, it's just shit. Actual shit. I would rather spend the runtime of that movie watching actual shit on screen. I'll just put some dog shit on screen and let me watch it change colours. Like, I think objectively, Street Fighter is probably. Not a good movie, but god damn do I enjoy the shit out of that. So, what are we going to do for the American guy? The all-American American. Yeah, let's just get this guy from, like, you know, the muscles from Brussels. Yeah, that's, that makes sense. What about the British spy cami? Um, well, there's this actress from Neighbours who also makes us pop music. Let's have her. Makes sense to me. You know, Japanese sumo wrestler has the line, I'm Samoan, brother, in the film. Sure. God, I just love the Street Might Fighter movie in general, though. So many great lines. I mean, even if you watched it many times, just do yourself a favour and next time you do, pay attention to DJ. So good. Just. When he's talking to Bison at some point in the movie, he's like, that's great news, General. 
And Bison's like, on the contrary, I am on. And DJ's like, okay. So see, my, my, my reading that does not do a delivery. Just all the air goes out of him. He's like, yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna earn some brainy points, I'm gonna tell him it's great, it's amazing, you know, you're what a great general you are. And then Bowser's like, No, you are so wrong, I don't believe how wrong you could be. All the air just goes out of him. Now looking at the thumbnail and also vaguely remembering this, I think it's from Hunter Hunter, which was another one that I really enjoyed. <sighs> but we just dropped off when they're attacking whatever the bloody castle it was against all those hybrids, and then the narrator just kicks in and narrates every single fucking movement they make. Gon is running through the castle to try and save someone that I can't remember the name of. He has attacked this person, but then they counter attacked with this like, I got eyes, I've used them this far. Why are you suddenly just doing this? Just, no narrator, leave me alone. I don't know what it was, it just really put me off. I've not been able to get through it since. So I guess this stream has sort of turned into a bit of a anime rant. Well, how about I talk about some anime that I actually A, enjoyed and B, finished. Or at least I'm um, caught up to date on. Dodo Hedero. That is on Netflix. Really bloody enjoyed that. I mean, I think it's getting end of the season and I hope it does. Because it's got a interesting plot line. Dude's suddenly got a lizard head. He don't know why. He's trying to find out why he's got a big old fucking lizard head. And I think he might have a lizard body with it. There's also, like, I guess magic users, wizards, etc, etc. And that live in kind of a bit of another realm. And then go to the other realm just to practice their shit on them. Yeah, I'd say check out Dodo Hedoro. Trying to think what else I've watched and finished recently. Oh, Dr. Stone. Dr. Stone, like Dr. Stone. It's basically, it's a show and anime, but instead of fighting, guess what? We fight, instead of fighting with our fists, we use science, bitch. Just such a such an underlying warmth in it. It's like, yeah. It's like we will make it. Everything's gonna be awesome in the end. I like it. Ten billion percent.
That has reminded me that I've not quite finished the Great Pretend Pretender yet. I think I'm on the final season, it's just... Again, one of those has been a little, little bit of a slog. It's been enough to make me not finish it, but I really should, because the rest of the... Well, I guess the little arcs they've had have been great. It's got some lovely, lovely colour palette to it. Great animation. Real good plot. It's a sort of crime thriller again, with a bit of mystery, all that stuff, all the good stuff. You know, it's got, it's got a bit of comedy chops to it too. Uh, what have we been watching on Crunchyroll? Really not much thinking about it. Just mainly use it to catch up on my Hero Aka at the moment. Oh, there is one show I do have to just look up the name of because I will butcher the pronunciation of it. But I highly recommend it. So much so that I'm going to go look it up now for everyone. Also very well that I'm gonna end up butchering the pronunciation of it. Where are you? You're so down, far down this list, but it was so good. Right, I'm gonna butcher pronunciation, so Akata Tonkotsu Ramens. Seriously, real good. In terms of just the feel of it, it was getting very sort of... It's going to sound a bit weird, but maybe Cowboy Bebop feels and just sort of the tone. It's not all set in space or anything, but the tone was very sort of... Cowboy Bebop was sort of like... Nah... Eh, But yeah, I mean that in the highest compliment, complimentary way. It doesn't sound like it, but, you know, we love us some Cowboy Bebop. But, Hak Hakata Tonkotsu Ramen. Like I said, butchered the shit pronunciation. Go look it up. Go find it. Go watch it. Really enjoyed it. It's only about 12 episodes long, so, you know. It's not going to take you long to go through it. So yeah, if you, I, I'd say if you like your, like Cowboy Bebop, more so for, you know, the plot as opposed to the spaceships. Although they never really played that much of a role in it. Go watch it. Really good stuff. Oh, to be fair, while I got my crunchy roll up, I'll go through the rest of the, what I've been watching. Okay, we reeled it in too slow. Let's get another poke on the go and we'll go from there. I suppose the obvious one to mention, it, which I have already, is Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Can we watch that? It's a good shit. Nobody's going to judge you too harshly, though, if you start with Season 3. Ah, oh, what else? Uh, I've watched most of the first season of that time I got reincarnated as a slime. Again, just one of those where I just kind of fallen off a bit. Uh, one Punch Man, that's good shit, yeah. Yeah, Kono Suba. God's blessing on this wonderful world. Yes, it's an isekai, but god damn is that shit funny. I fucking love me some Kono Suba. Uh, what else have we been watching? 
Oh, Junior Tyson Zodiac War. I watched that. That's again a little 12 arc. It's basically a uh, one of those uh, big battle survival animes. That was pretty good. Enjoyed it. Ooh, and if another one, what I'm thinking of, uh, Kaiji Ultimate Survivor. I believe Super Eye Patch Wolf put a video out on it a few years ago. Got me interested enough to watch it, and I enjoyed it. And it's very much a case of, if you like Squid Games, then you're probably going to really enjoy Kaiji Ultimate Survivor. First season's probably the strongest, I'd say. Because uh, I think it's the second half of the season to arc. Ah, it does drag on a bit. Could probably have, you know, maybe cut the number of episodes in half. And you wouldn't have lost much, but... It's still very, still very good. Ah, uh, what else have we actually watched on Crunchyroll all the way through? Ah, uh, King's Game, that was kind of dumb. I kind of liked it, though. It's another one of those Battle Royale survival anime things, blah, blah, blah. Oh, no, it wasn't. No, King's Game was... Oh, I was thinking of uh, Darwin Ga Darwin's Game, I believe. No, King's Game. Oh, that was... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was kids get a message saying, do this thing as always. You will die, and if they don't, they die. Uh, there's a, I believe it's a sequel to a manga. I did read the manga first, and the manga was better. Because the manga was very di different as well. So check out the manga if you really want to continue it. Check out King's Game, I guess, but... The manga is very different. It's set in a small village. Well, obviously it's like, oh, if you don't do this, ha, 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 X, Y, and Z will die. And then X, Y, and Z die. Like, ah, it's just coincidence. And obviously it just ramps up from there. Uh, I watched a fair bit of Saga of Tanya the Evil. Oh, okay. Sure. It ain't the OG, but, uh, sure. Ooh, really did enjoy that cider. Yeah, but as I got confused with Darwin's game, that was another one of those. Oh, look, they're doing a survival game thing. Ah, it's, a, it's an easy hook for me. I enjoy those sort of things if they're done well. I'm not saying it's necessarily done well, but I enjoyed it. Your mileage may vary, as they say. Ah. Uh, Promise Neverland, I watched season one. Real good shit. Not heard very good things about season two. There's so much shit in my list that I've not really watched. But yeah, that does look like about all I can really recommend from what I've been watching on Crunchyroll. Right, next magic up. All right, we've got to take a look. Thank you. 
Now, on my defence, this is the extended version of the opening theme, so I think I'm well within my rights to, you know, go and take a leak before the end. But then again, we've got like what, 20 seconds remaining, so ah, uh, we'll tough it out. Right, we're back. We poured part of a drink, so we just gotta wait for the bubbly ass head to go down. I know a few years ago, I think, uh, might have been a UK company, we were attempting to release manga in the UK. They got the license to Dragon Ball. So besides somehow at some point picking up the Viz version of the first volume, we did go all the way to the end of the Dragon Ball that they put out. I was like, well, let's support this because they're trying to put it out in the UK proper. I was like, that's cool. I dig that. But problem was, I think there probably wasn't enough interest in it to keep them going. I think they bottomed out around the fifth volume of Dragon Ball Z. Which was obviously unfortunate, but understandable. I mean, if you're not making the money, you're not going to do it. So I've never quite finished the Dragon Ball Z manga, at least in terms of collecting it. I think we did get volumes 6 to 8 or something like that, the slightly oversized versions. Picked them up with car boot dirt cheap, so that was quite nice. But of course we have watched, you know... Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, GT and Super. Watch them a few times. Well, Ball and GT, uh, Ball and Z. Super, eh, uh, not so much. May have seen in the background on the other occasion that we've got Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z on DVD up there. Did have to import the American, well, I didn't have to import the American releases of Z, but at the time there was no UK release in sight, so I was like, well, I don't mind paying the price that they were to get them in. Because at the time, the Z releases were region free, that was great. When it came to Dragon Ball, they were not region free. I did get season 1 and 2 in, because I figured, ah, we can make it work, and we could. But uh, one of the seasons, one of the discs was a bit damaged, so it didn't work. But thankfully, by that time they started releasing Z in the UK, and that meant that Dragon Ball itself came out in with UK releases. So instead of being the blue with the cardboard sleeves, I think they're possibly green. I'll have to check behind me in a minute. But what I did was I asked people what for them for Christmas, so... Spread it around the family. Oh, not green, they're yellow. Yeah, so the main colour on the cover is yellow of the Dragon Ball releases. I think it was GT that was mainly green. I believe these released a had a Blu ray release, but also I don't think it's that good maybe I could be wrong I was lucky enough to go see Dragon Ball Super Broly movie in the cinema at one of the views. That was cool as shit. I'll say. Get to see an anime movie on the big screen. It's got a very limited release. I think it was like one or two days, but it was like, I kind of really want to do this. And it was so worth it. I, you know, I say that as someone that's not necessarily the 
biggest fan of the just the general Dragon Ball Dragon Ball Z movies because they're just like they don't fit into any continuity and I was like okay you accept that you get over it you just sort of treat them as alternate timelines maybe this happened although I also remember when a company did release three Dragon Ball movies over here talking early-ish to well I think it's mid to late 2000s it was an atrocious release the dub was absolute shit. I think it might have been the Blue Ocean dub. I could be wrong, getting the company wrong, but whichever company did it don't deserve the fucking recognition for doing it. Unless you want to call them out on how shit it was. It's the dub where Gohan will call Piccolo Big Green. Needless to say, I took it back to the store. I can't support that shit. It's it's awful. I did get the Dragon Ball Z sticker album when it released, though. I was like, I have some disposable income. What should I spend it on? Let's spend it on this. Never did complete the album. I had nobody to trade stickers with for a start, but, you know, I had dumb disposable income. I mean, seeing that album release made me think, you know, Dragon Ball Z was on the cusp of, you know, making something big of itself in the UK. It's like, well, if they can release this, then surely they must be gearing up for some DVD look releases. You'd assume. They must be thinking, right, we can... Bring it to the UK, big style. You know, get a new generation of fan involved, maybe. And at some point after that, the live action movie that shall not be named hits. I, f I feel like that really put things back a few years. I, I honestly do feel like it tarnished the brand. I think we'd have got it. Just so much sooner the DVD releases. <sighs> but yeah. I mean, it's doing well for itself now, so no complaints there. I mean, you can walk into HMV and pick up the Dragon Ball Stars line. I don't think it did as well as they wanted it to in Smiths, because I think it was exclusive when it launched. But yeah, if you want to pick up any of that, you walk into HMV. I was in there a few months ago, just having a look out of interest. I was like, okay, you got the arena place. I was like, I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I didn't buy it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. When the figure arts line launched, I was quite into that. But, you know, then we got in a position to not have enough disposable income to import them. So we are now way behind. Uh, if we ever end up with silly money, we will just, you know, pick up all the back catalogue. We reeled in too slow. Oh, well. Oh, it's our Feebas. We did get a Feebas on stream. Nice of you to join us. Right, we've got to remember to actually defeat it. You'll be defeated into the ground. He says using a fighting move. Oh, well, just get that uh, number battled up. Get it over 500 and we're... We've got a much better chance. Not by much, but you know, anything that increases our odds here.
Yeah, I think we're going to call this stream at the 100 feet bass tonight. Yeah, we're breaks through an hour and a half, and I think that's not bad. I know some people stream for hours on end, and more power to them. Yeah, I'm getting kind of hungry, to be fair. Bad tea tonight. But I'm kind of hungry. Well, providing I remember, I think I might do a Halloween stream and obviously hope go hunting something different than this bloody Feebas, just to mix it up. I'm also thinking about hunting something different, just again, like I said, to mix it up. Because as you can see, we've been plugging away at this Feebas for quite a little while now. But we're not suffering burnout yet, which is nice. Or what? 2700 encounters in? That's not bad. You know, we're not burnt out on it yet. That is obviously the thing to avoid, getting burnt out. As usual, it's a big if, but if I remember, any anime recommendations I've come up that might be a little hard to decipher, I might put in the description when I upload this to YouTube. But yeah, as usual, it's a big if, if I remember. There's many things I want to do, but there's also many things I don't remember, and there's a massive overlap between the two. Uh, only 12 of these buggers to go now. I suppose when you take, uh, breaks out the equation, the stream's about average length.
I think we will be rocking another stream tomorrow at least. Might be during the day my end, I think. I'm quite feeling rocking another stream tomorrow. Got the whole damn day to myself. I mean, what else am I going to do? Although there's going to be things like Rampage and Smackdown to watch. And i also got to catch up on Crown Jewel. Ugh, or do I have to? I don't have to. I might do. Well, let's just say we have intentions to do a nice stream tomorrow. Well, looking at the thumbnail for this, it's just reminded me of another anime I watched, I think, last year. Jesus Christ, I enjoyed it. Can't think of the name of it, though. No, the name is failing me. If I remember the name of it, I will put it in the description on YouTube. But it was set in space. Basically, space travel is the norm. Such, so much is it the norm that you know you send your kids there on a field trip, but they go through, I think, a wormhole and get stranded, and then they have to make their way back. But also, uh, there's, I believe, a saboteur slash traitor on the spaceship that's hampering their progress. Bear with me, I might be able to remember the name with a little bit of Google food. Uh, yeah, that's the one. Astra Lost in Space. Jeez, was not long ago, was it? Oh, good God, it was. Yeah, as usual, it's an anime based on a manga. But yeah, we watch the anime. Again, just highly recommend it. It's what, 12 episodes long. It's a real sort of feel-good anime. You know, you get to... Get to see the kids, form some bonds, go through some stuff. And yeah, highly, highly recommend Astro Lost in Space. I'm not saying I got a little emotional in the finale, but we got a little emotional in the finale. And it takes a little, a fair little bit for me to be like, oh, oh, you know. So it did a lot right. I was invested in the characters and I was invested in their journey home.
I don't know. It's either went 40, either 43 or 44. I've said previously these counters ain't exactly accurate. I don't want to overshoot, so we're just going to deal with it as is. I don't know if I added right, I don't know if I added wrong. The main thing is, we really give a shit about the number of feebats encountered. This track sounds very much from the when I was era of uh, music. Uh, we've got five march cards to go. Uh, that still means we've got to reel our line in at least five more times. <clears throat> Well, you never know, maybe we get a shiny before the release of Legends of Arceus. Stranger things have happened. Alright, we got two more to go. So we're going to be taking out a very real soon, so we should probably think about doing the usual wrap up spiel. If you're watching on Twitch, you find me on YouTube, you see the link in the top left of the screen. And if you're watching on YouTube, you find me on. Oh, I think I'm just repeating myself. Let's start again. Oh no, we're live, it's okay. If you're watching on YouTube, you find me on Twitch and there's a link in the top left. And if you're watching on Twitch, you find me on YouTube. Guess what? There's a link in the top left. So simple, I overcomplicated it. Ah, I guess that's about all there is to it. We stream when we stream. We're aiming for a very, and I do mean very rough, eight to half eight. Not every night, but you know, trying to help a few weeknights. Saturday is going to be a bit more frequent, I think. Well, not frequent, but a bit, fair bit earlier, I think. 
think maybe possibly we might have a few afternoon streams. Gotta try and fit in some with Spider Goat 44 as well. Want to get on a bit more pro evo, but I'll tell you what. Let's finish us off with some Pokemon Go hunting. Make sure we save the game. Let's see what we got outside. Miracle, what you got for us? Ah, oh, you ain't purple, I know that much. Shoopat. Like pretty purple to me. Magnemite. Nope. Magnemite be giants, but he ain't. Mistrevious ain't shiny. It loaded really fucking fast, to be fair. Ralt. No, you all suck, you can all go to hell. But not you. So to you all I say, goodbye and we're back when we're back. Later people.